So you, I'm sure all remember when you were a kid, your mom used to tell you to cover your mouth when you coughed or sneezed. As usual, mom was right. The reason that she told you to cover your mouth or your, your nose when you sneezed is because when you cough or sneeze, you produce huge numbers of airborne particles like this. And if this individual who's coughing had tuberculosis, many of these airborne particles would contain viable tubercle bacilli transiting from this individual to the next host. Now, when these bacteria are respired into the airways, most of these bacteria will impinge on the upper airways where they will become trapped in the mucus lining the airways that is secreted by these goblet cells, the bare patches here. Those trapped bacteria will then be swept up and out by the mucociliary uh, ciliary elevator, uh, the ciliary action of these uh, ciliated epithelial cells, where they will uh, end up in the mouth and then be swallowed and destroyed in the stomach. So in fact, in order to initiate infection, the tubercle bacillus has to penetrate all the way down into the terminal ramifications of the respiratory tree, all the way down into the lung alveoli, where they can implant the phagocytosed by resident alveolar macrophages, the cell type that they parasitize within the lung, and initiate replication. So that's the sequence of events that leads to just about every new case of tuberculosis infection.